Good morning. I am so glad to see all of you here. Welcome to the heart of Longmont. My name is Trisha Graffelman. I am the Ministry and Missions Coordinator here. I want to start by sharing our altar flowers and give thanks for those who have provided those. Um, David and Marianne Waddell in celebration of their 61st wedding anniversary. Congratulations. John and I are about halfway there. Um, EDK in memory of Darren's birthday. And Butch and Peg um, in celebration of their 50th wedding anniversary. Wow. It's hard to ask for help. That was a great thing to say. It is hard to ask for help. So the good thing is that we have family and friends and people in this congregation that want to help us, right? But we always, always have God with us to help us. So one of the things that Hope Law is going to be sharing with us today is about how we can be helpful to people who have kind of a hard life in Africa and hard situations. Those who are gracious to the poor lend to the Lord, and the Lord will fully repay them. And from Galatians, carry each other's burdens, and so you will fulfill the law of Christ. We get used to easy life, but the amazing thing is that there's most of our world that struggle just with the easy things. And those are the miracles of life that we're helping. It'll be exciting for me to tell them that many of these items will come from a church that's called the Heart of Longmont. They'll go, I know Sabi, which means I don't understand at all. What, a heart? in a mountain? How can that be? And it'll be fun for me to explain to them that this is a heart in the mountains. And the heart starts and wants to create miracles. Too many times we forget that miracles have to start with us as people. Hard times sometimes, hard things sometimes, but we're the ones that create those miracles that can go on in our world. My grandson from Sierra Leone and I got the last plane out of Sierra Leone when they closed it down for COVID. We had quite a journey to a number of different airports on our way back to this country. And in those, I saw the fear of people with their countries closed, no airplanes flying, and what they were going to do. Where were they going to eat? Where were, how were they going to get back to their own countries? Those are the miracles that we don't always see that we're not aware of that go on all the time in our lives. But I want you to know that you are a miracle too. And you will cause miracles to happen in small countries, bigger countries in our own country, as you do the hard things. This is the day the Lord has made. No matter, hang on, no matter how hard this day is, no matter how easy this day is, it is the one that God has blessed us with and we can do great things. I want to thank her again. Please take your time to go out. Know that you are a dearly beloved child of God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen.